In this video, you will set up 40 Authenticator to function as a RADIUS server to allow 40 token two-factor authentication for SSL VPN users. You will create a user, assign a 40 token 200 to the user, and set up the RADIUS client on the 40 Authenticator. You will then create the SSL VPN tunnel and configure the RADIUS server on the 40 gate. In this step, you will assign a FORTA token to a newly created user. Remember that a token can only be registered to one device, even if it's deactivated. So be certain before entering the token's serial number. Go to Authentication, User Management, Local Users, and create a new user. Enter a username. Enter and confirm a password and make sure that Allow Radius Authentication is enabled. Select OK to view additional settings. Enable token-based authentication, select for the token, and select the token added earlier from the for the token 200 drop-down menu. Next, go to Authentication, User Management, User Groups, and create a new user group. Add the user created earlier to the group. Go to Authentication, Radius Service, Clients, and create a new Radius server on the 40 Authenticator. Enter a name, set client name IP to the IP of the 40 gate, and set a secret. This pre-shared secret will be later used on the 40 gate to authenticate to the 40 Authenticator. Set authentication method to enforce two-factor authentication. Set realm to local and add the user group created earlier to the group's filter. Make a note of which username input format you select, as the user will enter this format when they log in through the web portal. On the 40 gate, go to user and device, Radius servers, and create a connection to the Radius server. Enter a name, set primary server IP name to the IP of the 40 Authenticator, and enter the secret created before. You can test the connectivity by entering the user's credentials. The test should come back with a successful connection. Go to user and device, user groups, and create the SSL VPN user group. Enter a name, and add the radius server created earlier under remote groups. Go to VPN, SSL VPN portals, and edit the full access portal. Disable split tunneling. Next, go to VPN SSL VPN settings. Set the VPN to listen on port 10443. And specify the IP ranges by selecting the SSL VPN tunnel IP range. Under Authentication Portal Mapping, assign the SSL VPN user group created earlier to the full access portal, and assign all other users' groups to web access only. This will grant all users outside the SSL VPN user group access to the web portal only. Next, go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and create a new SSL VPN policy. Set incoming interface to the SSL VPN tunnel interface and set outgoing interface to the internet facing interface. Set source to the SSL VPN user group and configure the rest as normal.
From a remote device, open a web browser and navigate to the SSL VPN web portal. Log in with the user's credentials using the username input format configured earlier. The user will be prompted to enter the Forda token code. The user can then successfully log in to the SSL VPN portal and securely browse the internet. On the Forda gate, go to Monitor, SSL VPN Monitor, to view who logged in, what their source IP is, and when they connected. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, click here to subscribe. You can also find a written version of this recipe at cookbook.fortinet.com.